Trying lipstick from Morocco, you rub the little dish and then bam, pigment. Yeah, I got it. Came in this cute little bag too. Ta-da! Look how cute it is. So this is a clay pot and basically it's a natural form of lip stain. But does it work and does it last? I'm going to dip my finger in some water. I don't know why I said that with an accent. And then rub it on there. Wow! And that's what it looks like after it's used. And I look like I cut my finger. Oh my goodness! I really want ham. I didn't realize it was gonna be so pigmented, girl. Oh, it, it dries up quick though. So I need to really hurry up. And it even has like a gold kind of shimmer on it. Wow. Let's see if this washes off my finger. I mean, that's like the best I can do. The lips. And then pop a little gloss on top. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It looks so good. Can I make cheap makeup look expensive? There are kittens on the front, so I obviously bought it. Let's do a full face of makeup. <gasps> it's so cute. These are the brushes that we're working with. I'm gonna start with the blush, but we're gonna use it as eyeshadow. It's actually pretty pigmented. Let's hit the other side. I'm also just gonna bring that onto the cheeks. And I really wanna bring that up my forehead. I'm kind of scared about the shimmer. I think I'm gonna try using my finger. Wait, why is that kind of cute? Now I'm gonna use this darker one in the outer corner. Tap that on. Silver on the inner corner. Oh, the silver's cute. Now this may be risky, but we're gonna take some blue underneath. Some final touches. Shimmer on the lips. Not me hitting pan in every shade. Let me know what you think. Can I make cheap makeup look expensive? There are kittens on the front, so I obviously bought it. All the comments on this video told me there were secret compartments in the side that I didn't open. We gotta see if that's true or not. Obviously, I snapped open the front, and this is the makeup I was using in that video. Y'all said you had this as a kid, and there are side... There are side compartments that I didn't know about? Is there one over here, too? You're lying! This is so much more fun than I could have imagined! Let's use some of this lip gloss. Rub that on. Some of the eyeshadow. Thank goodness I have a comment section. Now we add the glitter. Pop that on. This is so much better. I'm in shock. Beauty spatty! Here's how to get every last drop out of your favorite products. So this is my favorite concealer, and as you can see, she's very empty. Trying to like scrape the sides with the applicator, but not much is coming out. These are supposed to go into your makeup product and get out every last drop. It comes with a baby shark and also a big daddy spork. I don't know what this one's for, but this looks perfect. I take this out. Can it fit in this hole? Tight squeeze. Oh, it's in. So now I'm just going to take the spatula and kind of like scrape the edges. You can see it's coming off. Look how much product is on the brush. You like, is that going to remain on the brush or like, like it kind of came out on the spatula, but if anything, I feel like it just like loosened it up inside because now I picked it up on my brush. Why is there blood in her cute? Okay, here goes nothing. What is going on? As lipstick? Oh wait, why is it good? I acquired said Q-tips. Girl, why they have her packaged in there so tight? Oh wait, I got it. Tattoo lipstick. Multicolor. Little cotton swabby type items. It came with a few different colors. Nude, pink, dark, and then red. Try pink right now. No idea how to do this. It looks like one of those things where you like pow, pow, pow. You know, like off the... Never mind. Crack it or like bend it or something. Squeeze it. There's a line on this that has to mean something. Oh, wait, I ripped it off. I feel like that wasn't supposed to happen. Somehow me ripping off the other side made it work on this side. Slay, I guess. Hey, it's definitely doing stuff. This looks red. Tall glass of Kool-Aid. Wow. Look at you, she's wiping her mascara off and what in the world is that? Tubing mascara. It doesn't bleed under your eyes. It just like falls off. I guess, I don't know, I'm not a scientist. I got this one from Tarte. I'm gonna try to wipe it off at the end and see if it does what hers did. Also, you can be as messy as you want putting it on because you're supposed to be able to wipe it off the eyelid. What I wanna know is how do they get tubes in the mascara? Like, what is it? What are they doing differently than regular mascara? Well, it definitely looks cute. That's not the problem. I'm gonna try to wipe my eyelids now and see what happens. This one has a lot. Wiper. Yeah, I mean, the residue completely came off. It's been like 10 hours. We're just gonna see if it like tubes off like hers did. A little crusty. Doesn't pull like she did it unless she had like a lot on. Flakes off on my fingers. Easier than normal mascara. 
Trying lipstick from Morocco. You rub the little dish and then bam, pigment. I had an idea. You guys saw me use this Moroccan clay pot as a lip stain. What if I made it into a lip gloss? Now, I don't know if this is gonna work. But let's open her up, take her top off, and look at this gold shine on the clay pot. You can see where I used it. Rub her foot on the edge here. It didn't pick up any pigment. Wait. Honestly, I was not expecting to have any challenges. Wipe off the gloss brush and dip it in water instead. And then get down the pot and then put it back into it. It's a thought out plan. A cup of water, the cap to a hairspray bottle. I don't want to talk about it. Now this should work. Yes. I'm a scientist. I'm actually a genius. So interesting. Oh, is that enough to mix into it? One more swatch. Mix that in. A really good color. Moment of truth. LED eyeliner? I'm pretty excited about it. The girly paparunis be getting so creative with these things. Here's what the contents look like. It kind of looks like Mickey Mouse on a popsicle stick, and I feel like when you see one of these, you're supposed to like pull it out. I would say, yeah. Imagine I broke it. Y'all know directions are not my thing. Now, according to my calculations, if we connect part A to part B, like so, and then we connect part U and part I, came with a little hair clip which i assume goes through this and then this connects like behind my head i would say that's pretty discreet apply some lash glue pop her on i'm trying to think where would you wear this to probably like the grocery store let's hide it with some mascara ready <gasps> ah! she's stamping her eyebrow while using a stencil and then you pull it off and have a perfect brow it would save me a lot of time and effort if it does work it came with a bullet stamp product. I got the color medium brown. And we have the stencils. Stencil reveal. I'm overwhelmed. They all look the same. Too skinny. This looks like a pretty good match. Here's what the little stamp looks like. Let's see what it does to my hand. Okay, it's like very buildable. Like I had to scrape it to get this much pigment. That's good. I thought it would look like a Sharpie immediately. I have it all lined up. Let's do it. Here we go. I cannot tell if it's doing anything. Okay, reveal. It's subtle, but it looks good. Like it really did change the shape of my eyebrow. Hmm. Let's do the other one. I like the idea of a brow stencil. I think I might try to use this, but use my brow product instead of the stamp. Let me know what you think. This house is very normal. Oh, what is this? It looks like a normal wall. No, slide. Oh God, I'm scared. Oh, 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 oh. I'm scared. This is like the camping room, so it really feels like you're outdoors, but we're actually in the house. Sit down by the campfire, you know, there's a full bed in this tent. And then right there, we got a projector so you can watch movies in here. Can't do that in the great outdoors. Here we got little bunk beds, it feels like a cabin vibe. I'm walking up a lot of steps to show you guys this. So this is the drive-in movie theater. It kind of feels like you're at the beach or maybe on the set of Hannah Montana. Bed in the back of the truck, very cool. And obviously a projector on the big screen. And this bathroom looks fake. Slay. I'm gonna climb down this rope. Oh gosh, y'all are wild for making me do this. Oh my God, ow, my butt. This wall right here is absolutely crazy. So it's all icy in here. We got these little snow cross motorcycle game. Who wants to come over? Your house is so fun. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I feel like I have a very normal house. Very normal. Except this isn't actually a wall. No, if you just give her a little pull, it's a little secret room. And this, this right here, that's a slide. These stairs, these stairs right here are just for show because you already know we're gonna use the slide every time. All right, don't look at my dogs. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh wow. <gasps> and then we come out and we're in the arcade. Here, here's the slide that we just went down. We got a little arcade game, Jurassic Park, some dinosaur, air hockey because everybody needs that. Little pinball machine, danger. And then this right here, this is the drive-in movie theater. You got all these little car seats right here, so cute. The sign. And then an actual real truck, but in the back is a bed that you can lay in to watch movies on the projector. Who wants to come over? This? This right here? That's a slide. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, wow. 
The last video I posted in this house blew up and y'all wanted a full house tour, so I'm gonna walk around and highlight some of my favorite rooms in the house. This is the basketball court. I'm not a basketball player, sorry. This is the little coffee bar area which connects to the kitchen. A very cute living space with a nice view of the backyard. Here I am in one of the bedrooms. There are lots of bedrooms that look exactly like that in the house. Here is a little bunk bed type room and this is very fun. It's a camping room. You can watch a movie in here. There's a little stage. This is my favorite hammock and it's on the deck on the second floor with a nice view of the backyard. Running up to the third floor is the drive-in movie theater. So. There's a projector and then you can go down the slide, which there's two slides and it takes you down to the arcade where there's lots of games and it is super, super fun in here. Another one of the backyard and a screen that comes down to watch movies. Who wants to come over? You guys are not gonna believe what I found. I was just hanging out, looking over the edge of the infinity pool and I saw something around the fence that looked a little suspicious to me. So I just walked down for a closer look. Tell me if you guys see anything suspicious. If you saw this, I think there's literally a watermelon growing. Hold on, hold on. That's literally a watermelon. Hello? Like, look at the vines. I'm gonna pick it. Not me harvesting. Looks so majestic out here. I, I don't understand how, like, a random watermelon just grew here, but, like, slay, I guess. Okay, I guess I just, like... Oh my god. Wow, I think it's a watermelon. I don't know. I'm gonna take it with me and cut it open. This is way heavier than a watermelon. I feel like this is suspicious. Whew. I don't know what happened here. Okay, don't try this at home. <gasps> oh my, that's not a watermelon. Or is it a watermelon and it's just not done yet? It's awfully done to me. It smells like a cucumber. The reveal. Yeah, that tastes like a cucumber. I'm confused. What is this? I'm scared I'm gonna get like 80 followers at once and miss it. I have anxiety, okay? Oh no. I'll pick up the computer when it gets to like 990 because it hurts to hold it. If a couple of you guys would subscribe, oh, it will go up. Is that 12? Can I do math? Two, no, 22. Dang it, it just went down. Oh, we are so back. Oh no. 15 more. I need to put the veggie straws down. I wonder if anyone's gonna notice I'm close and unsubscribe just to spite me. <gasps> Seven, right? Math? I'm so nervous. I, I don't know why. My stomach kinda hurts. I don't know why this is so scary. Be so for real, guys. Why are you unsubscribing right now? This is bullying. I literally have a broken collarbone. Why are you unsubscribing? Oh my God, one more, one more, one more. I'm so nervous. <gasps> Six million! This is so cringe, I'm like kind of crying. I come home from the gym and at the bottom of my steps, my beef jerky was torn open and there's teeth marks. Nah, cause we're gonna see which one did this. Okay, it's probably him because he's already very excited about it. Okay, what do people do? They like line up a little piece of card and then put the teeth measurements. Here's the teeth holes. We're gonna measure the distance. This is what the teeth of our victim, suspect? I don't, one of them. Was it you, Boojas, or was it you, Kikis? Okay, Boots, look here. No, it's not Boots. It's too wide to be Boots. You. Come here. We're gonna test something out because I think you did something bad. Show me your teeth first. Show me your teeth first. <gasps> it's a perfect match. You did this. You are bad. That is mommy beef jerky. Apologize. Just one thing that we have in neither of us will be missed. Same note that the top. Oh my god, guys, I thought that would be a cool transition, but I think I just made a mess. There's literally water all over my phone. Oh my! Do you guys want to see my mirror? Look at her! I'm gonna be doing Fear of the Ocean. That's why I thought spitting water on my phone would be a good idea. Also, when I was jittering at the beginning, could just go with it's because I'm a talented actor, but actually, I've drank so much coffee this morning that I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Make myself pale to start out with because if we were underwater, girl, we were not getting that vitamin D from the sun. I've also not painted over my collarbones since I got surgery because I didn't wanna like get stuff in the scar. Do I have a fear of the sea? I would say no, but I definitely don't trust it. Like what's, what's the percentage of the sea that we haven't explored? Is it like 90% or something like that? There's definitely some stuff down there that I, I don't think I wanna know about, to be honest. Also, I'm going to Hawaii in like two weeks for my birthday. I'm gonna be 21. And one of the activities we were considering doing is swimming with sharks. I think it would be in a cage, but girl, I have seen 47 meters down, so 
Honestly, I know better. I think I should turn myself into a shark and do fear of sharks. Let me know. We look like we're all shriveled up in the ocean, you know, just floating down the stream. I look like a drowned zombie from Minecraft. Splatter paint. Ah, I think it's in my eye. I'm gonna add a little moss so it looks like, you know, I've been sitting there while I'm growing stuff. All I need now are the contacts and I'm gonna wet my hair. Let's complete the transition. We're gonna be doing fear of getting yelled at. I definitely have this. So phonophobia is not the fear of phones. This one's definitely a challenge creatively because there's no distinct image that goes with being yelled at. It's more of like a concept. Do y'all wanna see my sketch? I feel like everyone has to be at least a little bit scared of getting yelled at. Who do you guys think is the scariest person to get yelled at by? Potentially my girl, Abby Lee Miller, perhaps? Maybe your mom, maybe your teacher. Comment down below. Comment what phobia you want me to do next and I'm gonna be doing the top liked comment. If you guys are watching this, there's definitely a chance that you have the fear of being yelled at. Ha! Ah! Trigger warning. So silly and so goofy. I feel like if I was getting yelled at, I would definitely shed a tear. You know when they call you by your first and middle name, that's about to be some serious stuff in that convo. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover my mouth and then draw a zipper on top, but I have a DoorDash order that's gonna be here in like five, and I feel like they would probably call the authorities if they walked in and I looked like that. Okay, I definitely gave Edgar a jump scare, but I did get my Chick-fil-A. Hey kitties, this is voiceover Sid, and I am just painting down my mouth with some tissue and liquid latex. I tried to use the fan, it wasn't strong enough, so I went to a blow dryer. And now we are putting some foundation over the mouth, some paint to paint the zipper. Finishing off with some red on the cheeks. Of the driveway, you <laughs> oh my gosh, take off my makeup with me. I have someone getting to my house to give me an IV in eight minutes. We gotta do this quick. Oh my goodness, I can't see it all. Take off the cloak. Wipe, 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 wipe. They are going to think that I am crazy. I was also near having a panic attack with that thing on my mouth, so the transition was not that good. But I just needed to be done. I hope y'all are enjoying the Fears and Phobias series because I like them a lot. I am also starving and wish I had time to eat before she got here. But it's fine, she gonna be pumping me with nutrients through my IV anyways. Oh girl, that eyebrow. Free eyebrow tint, for real. Okay, I think that that is the best I can do. I need to go wash my face. This one thing that we have in common, neither of us will be missed. Stay at the top. Hi, we're gonna be doing trypophobia, fear of small holes. So if that is something that is triggering to you, this is probably not the best video. I'm doing something that I don't wanna do here. Use scar wax. Comment a suggestion and I'll do the top liked one next time. Oh shoot, where's my little spatula? I just looked for this spatula for a solid like 45 minutes. Ugh. Ah! So do I have trypophobia? I would say no. Holes don't particularly frighten me, but like I get it. Have you ever seen those people that like surgically put donuts in their forehead? That's what this is giving. I don't really get the whole thing with the pomegranates and the beehives, but like the, the holy wounds, that I understand. This looks like a good size for some dots. Need some Vaseline on it. This is kind of fun actually. This is not scary at all. Maybe if you guys do have this fear, this could be like exposure therapy. I feel like SpongeBob right now. Are y'all afraid of Swiss cheese if you have this? It is kind of giving honeycomb. Honestly, this is getting kind of fun. It's like color by number. Fill in the hole. Oh, now we're looking good. I want to make it look like that plant we touched in the beginning gave us some sort of disease. You know what I mean? It's kind of starting to give zombie, but that's okay. Yeah, I remembered that I had to do my hand, so I quickly did that. But I'm back. Now let's finish the transition. Oh, no. We got to do this fast. The driveway. Just one thing that we have in common. Neither of us will be missed. Cigard sits at the top. Hi guys, today we're gonna be doing astrophobia, fear of storms. Figuring out the lighting to make the lightning look cute took me so long, please appreciate it. Do I have astrophobia? I'm gonna have to say no. Like, I don't wanna get struck by lightning or anything, but I do like falling asleep to the sound of rain. It's very peaceful. But I know all of y'all's pets be having that. They hear one boom of thunder, baby, and they're gone. Someone told me once that thunder is angels bullying in heaven. Just picture the girlies up there absolutely just hitting that strike and the, the pins knocking down is the thunder. Astrophobia cured. You're welcome. Were y'all around in like 2010 when everything was galaxy print? Had galaxy leggings, galaxy vans. It was a dark time for sure. Pun intended. May come to regret this, 
But what if I made the cloud out of cotton balls? I'm gonna try. I'm I didn't even need to just try. I'm gonna just try. My skin is never gonna clear up, is it? I'm dipping my paintbrush in the base of a sippy cup. Don't ask. Suggestions for other phobias to do in the comments down below, and I will do the most liked one next time. Did y'all know the chance of getting struck by lightning is one in a million? But nearly 90% of them all survive. Why is it giving like Disney villain vibes? I'm gonna add some stars. Now let's see if we can get this on the first try. <laughs> Mine's gonna be that good too. I didn't clean up the glitter from the first time I did this yet. So I might as well do it again. Quickly do our makeup. A big issue in the transition last time was my hair was not back. This is gonna make it a lot cleaner. I have to use a brush because I have glitter all over my hands. Snatch us up. I don't know what to do. I guess I'm just gonna wing it. Get it? Because it's a wing. Sorry. Slay. Where did my voice go? <coughs> Sounds like before vocal cord surgery. If you know, you know. This seems good. What is it? Oh god. Eyelash glue and gems. No, I don't own tweezers. Put on some fake lashes. Mm-hmm. Crap. Turn the light on. Yo, why does it look like that? And let's make another mess.